for a helicopter. Land difficult to use a bunch of arrays like cityscape is just an exercise in how well you or just that and so the only thing that i think really is good about lead code questions by the way is going to be dp questions which you don't typically study in college or you do very little uh and two using arrays to solve problems often you're not using like arrays to store a graph uh, you know, you, most people use like an adjacency list. They don't lean into the adjacency matrix. And sometimes it's really, really difficult to use a bunch of arrays. Like cityscape is just an exercise in how well you understand arrays, not really anything else. And so, you know, that's one of those like leak code nice things is that when you get onto a whiteboard, you're just like, oh, yeah, I can do arrays really easily. I've like, I've used them a whole bunch. I'm pretty good at this stuff. You know what I mean? It all came back to haunt me on the day I've had the right of my graduation. Several times. For most people, graduation is a moment of triumph. It's like the culmination of years of hard work. And I felt very sad graduating. I felt like as I, I, you know, when Frodo comes back to the Shire, it's just not home anymore. It's an end of an era. It's an end of an era. And I, 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 felt really, I felt really sad about that. You know what I mean? Because I knew it was over. Yeah, if you get a paper, you don't get a job. And so for me, that was like hard. You know, it was really, it was really, it was really hard. Because I knew that I, I'm, ch there, I don't know what the next era is, but it is the next era. And that was hard. That was a hard moment for me moving on to the next stage of your life but for me that day was the saddest moment i had experienced oh, up until that point in my life looking back i realized that I so i do have to say one last thing the the fact that saruman was sharky i i still to this day i can't believe there's a bad guy named sharky in lord of the rings i just felt like that was kind of weird okay that's all i'm saying that's all i'm going to say about that we're moving on i had barely changed since the first day I walked onto campus. My work ethic was still terrible. My social skills were terrible. And I hadn't achieved the goals that I set out to achieve. And worst of all, I was not ready for this next phase in my life. And I knew that I was about to be forced into a deep, dark time before anything got better for me personally or professionally. I moved to- I do think a lot of, I mean, I do think our society in general, at least Western society, does encourage more adolescents longer. And I do think a lot of these a lot of these issues are extended adolescence issues. Um, you know, I grew I, I I I had the greatest misfortune and the greatest fortune to be able to grow up fast. And I do think that that helps is having some of that growing up fast. Because you know, you skip 10 years of doinking around till you realize what you really want to do. And I, I, I do think that that helps a lot. Uh, again, I, I attribute a lot of it to being in the right place at the right time, you know, but self-drive and discipline is incredibly important. Absolutely. Home from college about three months after graduation. And at the time, I had not even begun to understand the weight of the position that I was in. I had yeah. no job prospects lined up. And even worse, I hadn't even made an effort to secure one. My resume, unimpressive to say the least. But I remember hearing about the intense demand for software engineers at that time and all the years previously. I tr One in the chat if you're kind of in this guy's shoes. I'm actually just curious. One in the chat if you're in this guy's shoes. Damn, y'all. Well, you're currently a student, so learn from this mistake, right? Twitter's dead. Twitter died. Pricked myself into believing that my computer science degree alone would be enough to land me a job. I mean, I spent four years in college, right? Surely that was enough to secure my future. A piece of For wisdom great that I've learned that. in the past few years. There are only two ways people change. People either change after deep self-reflection and self-improvement, or they are forced to change by circumstance. And this circumstance was about to hit my life very, very soon. At the time. Base take, base take. You know, the, the, 
number the point one on his take is wisdom, right? The ability to make those self reflections those the ability to make change before disaster happens is really like that that is the mark of a, a wise person. I unfortunately have rarely been a wise person. I've had a few moments in my life where I have done number one, but for the vast majority, I've done number two, unfortunately. I'm that guy. I learn best by uh, getting into horrible situations. You're still wise. If you can learn from a mistake, if you can learn from your mistake, you're still wise. You're wisest if you can learn from others' mistakes. You're wise if you can learn from your own mistakes. You're a fool if you keep making them. And I looked around at my friends and classmates and saw them getting jobs at top tech companies. And I thought that I could do the same. I wanted to work for a unicorn startup because in my head, that's where I belonged. And it couldn't be that hard to get in, could it? But as I started applying to jobs, I realized just how misguided I really was. I submitted like... By the way, he also has that UCLA. Like, hopefully that really puts things into perspective. I had Montana State University, okay? I, I, I do I do wanna throw something out there. When people think of prestigious schools, or yeah, UC Irvine, okay, whatever. He had a school that people think tends to be a little bit more impressive than Montana State University. Just to be real there, okay? No one thinks Montana State University is gonna be, uh, Montana ain't even, Montana's not even a state that exists, okay? There's California, California, Texas, and New York City. Like, that's the three states in America. And credentialism did not help him here. So, like, that is really something you should uh, you should really think about. Montana mentioned, let's go. Like, you should really think about that, that credentialism is not going to help you. Now, I even think the day of graduating from, you know, MIT and these top schools, I even think that that in itself is also falling apart. I think that, that, that it doesn't get you anywhere anymore, right? Credentialism is gone. And so you should really, you gotta, you know, we are more towards a meritocracy in some sense because we're dropping that, so. 10 applications in the first week. I'm not playing. saying, by the way, I'm not actually saying that's good or bad. I think there is something that's good about credentialism because we should have a place we can look to to say, people that come out of this are really, really good. And if that's falling apart, there's something kind of sad about tradition and that kind of stuff, right? There is something sad about that, and I, I do mean that. that that is, that is, there, there is a sad part to it. It's not 100%. Whenever someone says, no, that's 100% bad, I'm like, not all things are 100% bad. There's always, there's, there's sometimes a good part to that. I'm not saying it's great. As a, again, as an average Montanan enjoy, enjoyer, I did not get to enjoy a drop of credentialism. System you know what I mean? Bad. Snapchat, Pinterest, Yelp. Thinking that they were easy targets while I worked. Ooh, Yelp. Ooh. Yelp might just be the single worst tech company. Okay, like I, I mean, I under, I, I understand there's some really shady tech companies out there, but Yelp just might be like top three most evil companies. Like, dude, the extortion that they do on, on small businesses is crazy. Okay, it's crazy. They extort companies, like they genuinely do. Ooh, Yelp is like a, um, Yelp is like a, 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 like a local rating service, right? You know how when you go and you search up a restaurant and it's like, this restaurant has 3.5 stars. That's either like Google ratings or Yelp ratings. And Yelp is, uh, it's pretty bad. Better Business Bureau also, like anytime, like the thing is, is anytime you find a rent seeker, you also have found something that's likely hyper corrupt. Anything that sits in between two things often can be quite corrupt. My way up to big companies. And then like Trip Advisor, yeah. Okay. Probably the same so thing. So I applied to a few more jobs that I thought were in my skill level, like Dropbox, Groupon, Intuit. But again, remember Groupon? The results were the same. Groupon is not so, so deluded and so used to getting what I wanted. This came as a surprise. My degree was not enough to get me hired. I even remember this one instance, two months after moving back home. I managed to secure an interview with a company in Southern California. And the whole time going through the interview process and the recruiter screens, I thought getting the job would be easy. 
I didn't spend any time preparing for this interview. And instead, I focused on learning how to negotiate my salary. And as you can... <laughs> I mean, at least he's coming in with confidence. You know, like one thing can be said in life, being confident is a good thing. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, 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 I, I do, I do want to say, I do want to say, I, like, I'm not here to knock on this guy. This guy is like a bunch of kids. This guy represents an entire class of people, right? I, I, I'm not here to dunk on him. I think this is fantastic, right? Like, dude, I thought you could just drop LSD and smoke a little bit of meth and, and also have a great family life at some point. Okay, I'm not saying, I'm not... Mr. I'm not Mr. Outstanding, okay? I, 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 it took me a while to get here, okay? I was just as deluded as this guy, just happened to be a different set of delusion. You can't, you really can't. Like, you genuinely can't do those things. Yeah, it, 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 it could, it, I mean, genuinely, you could be right. It could be, it's one of the, it's one of the things that I think about all the time, which is uh, kids growing up in a situation in which they have money. Right? Sometimes it can delude them to think that life just comes easily. Right? But this is great. I actually, I really like this story. Who expects I didn't get the job? And in fact, I wasn't even close. I that remember hurt hanging out and talking with my friends afterwards. It had to we hurt. Were a grabbing a beer. I was talking about my interview, downplaying the situation, talking about how I didn't want to work there anyway. And as I wrapped up my story, and by the way, that didn't even matter, bro. That is literally the the sorry bro for the person. Dude, it's cope. It's pure copium. It's beautiful. He, my friends just quietly acknowledged it, changed topics, and then we moved on. I couldn't really understand at the time why my friends were so quiet in response to my story. But now I can see how clueless and delusional I was, and just how badly I struggled with self-awareness and humility. I see now. By the way, 